Hello and welcome back ladies and gentlemen. So let's test what we've done so far. And the file name is in here actually. So hmm. once everything is good, we need to be able to move this. So what I'll do is let's see here. Uh, Let me come back here for a second. So let's go back to product new controller. So the issue here is we've we've set this um, files item to this, but then once we determine that there are no errors, we have to shift it because remember that this we are giving it here is an array. It's not a string. It's an array of items like this. But what we really want is just the file and its name. So we need to be able to generate a file name as well. So let's go back to the product uh, thingy here and let's create a file generator. Same way we generate a barcode, let's generate file name. Okay. So a file name uh, is better with all letters of the alphabet and all that. Uh, or what we can do is we can use a hash. So let's put a random value here and then let's hash it. I'm just going to say hash. I don't know, I've never actually used this method before, but I'm thinking it will work. Let's use SHA1. And let's hash this. Uh, this is the number. Let me leave it be as a random number. And yeah, just like that. Let's hash this and call it a fire name. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. So return a hash of whatever random number here. And After that hash, let's concatenate another random number just in case. Okay, so dot uh, rand, just in case the hash turns out to be similar. So 1999, like that. But let's put a, an underscore here, dot. Okay, so that's a file name there. So generate file name. Let's put an extension here as well. So extension is equal to JPEG. I'm just giving it a um, a default value, but we can always change it if we supply the extension. So I'll just do dot uh, to concatenate and put a dot there, and then dot, and then put the extension. So take note of how this is here. That there as well. Okay, so let's see if any of this works. So generate file name. Uh -huh. Now let's go back to product new and change things. So we need to change this one more time. So we need first need a folder uh, that uh, we'll be saving files. So the folder is equal to uploads. Okay, let's do that. But let's check if the folder exists, first of all. So let's do folder. If file exists, folder. Now we don't care if it exists, we only care if it doesn't exist. So let's put the exclamation point if it doesn't exist, mkdir, meaning make a new directory folder. Let's give it permissions, which is 0777. Let's put true for recursive uh, folder creation. So you can check this function on php.net to figure out how to use it. In fact, any of these functions, you can check any 
built-in functions you can check to see how they work on php.net so once we've made the directory we make sure that at this point here we know the directory exists and we can use it so we need to move the uploaded file so we'll say move uploaded file so the first thing we need is a file name so and then we need the destination now file name is the source of the file so the source of the file is this one so it's inside the temp name of image so let's add that there right so it's inside post image and uh, tmp underscore name very important to get that right so that's the source and then this is the destination so what is the destination let's create it so destination is equal to we'll say product and we'll say generate instead of barcode file name uh -huh. it's a function so we do that now we can supply an a file extension here that we want now in case the image is a png so we will need to supply png there but how do we get that now i regret uh, removing that extension thing but we can create it again so we'll say extension is equal to path info and uh, the path of the file is this one path info wait a second yeah this one right there so in the name that's what we want name and i want to get that path info uh, extension underscore extend of course like i've done previously i want this to be a lower case and so let's get that extension and put it here very good and that creates a destination but remember that it has to be inside a folder so let's put that right there connect the two very good now this folder will be made in the public folder so as you can see it's not there yet the uploads folder but it will be there once we try to upload something and then product inset post mm -hmm. now we did move the uploaded file to this destination so what we need to do finally is put that destination in this okay so i will be right over here and say post image is equal to destination this way at least uh, we have a string in here and it will post that and redirect us okay so hopefully this was let's just test it if it actually works at all so going to refresh and resend so it's saying product description required cool okay so let's call this one a uh, let me see what did i get what is this product anyway i completely have no products here okay i'll call this one biscuits no barcode uh, no amount Let, let's just add 10.99 quantity let's put 100 and this is the item here so now i'm going to click save please add a valid value the two nearest valid numbers are this one and that really okay 95 I think I should change those settings there. Where is this? Maybe the step. Oh yeah, so it's the step here that I'm talking about. That's why it's not valid. Okay, so 
click save. Mm -hmm. So it's saying pragmatch compilation failed. Range out of order in the character set. On line 34. But let's check our database. Did we save something? No, we did not. So um, line 34, where are we? Right there. So it, th it thinks this is a range. So this is why we need to escape these things. So I'll escape that one. That should do the trick. Let's try again. Okay, goody. Seems things worked because we were redirected. So let's browse and see. And there we go. Look at that. We have a barcode. We have a description. Oh, this is supposed to be I, biscuits. Quantity amount and an actual image and the hashing actually worked look at this so we have a hashed file name and then a random number at the end and then jpeg very good we have a date views but we have no user id so we forgot that part yes yes now if i go to my users to see the user id uh where is my user id User ID is one here. So I am going to put one in there. User ID one, but we forgot. So we are supposed to uh, wait a second. In functions, we have the oath thingy. So oath column. So I want to get the user ID. So what I'll do is auth and get the ID. So copy this, get back to product new here. Uh -huh. So right about here, I'll just duplicate this. And put user ID. and then use the auth function to get the ID of the user that's uh, in there. So the column is ID, and that's it. That should do it. So let's try and add a second item. So just say add new. Let's browse an image. This time I want a burger. So say burger and quantity 100. 20.95 and uh, let's save yes save let's come back here and see if this time we have a user id and there it is but also we need to check if there's a folder so and there is a new folder called uploads and in here there are two files this one and that one so things are working as uh, intended yes now we just need to display the contents of those products right here.